oh hi hey there. there we're carrying on with would you rather if you uh don't understand would you rather it's just would you rather this or would you rather that and you pick a side hmm. would you rather lose both your arms or lose both your legs that's actually something i thought about before in the past yeah same actually um, yeah. and if you lose your legs then obviously you know you are obviously a bit more you, know, you can't move around as much you can't go places as much mm. um but i am more generally of a home person they're all they're both massive problems yeah. if this would be a totally different question if this was would you rather lose one arm or one leg i'd lose one arm but because yeah, of this, yeah, because you because with two le- with one leg, you can't really hop around. I mean, I guess you get crutches and get about like that. But what a hard, horrible like question! Like, what a way to start! Like, yeah, like, Jesus. Uh, would you rather have it always be day, or always have it be night? Mm. I feel a lot safer in the day. I feel like I won't get stabbed. Yes. Uh, I feel like I won't get robbed. Yes. So I'd easily go day. Yes, same, absolute same. For Easy. all the same reasons as well. Exactly. Would you rather have three wishes that had no catches or six wishes with minor catches? What do you define as a minor catch? Yeah, that's quite vague. Yeah, it's like, you know, <clears throat> I wish to have all this money, but I start getting a tickling sensation in my nose or lose both my legs, which is minor. <laughs> you know, like... The definition of minor could... I mean, I'm assuming minor would be very minor, obviously. So it would okay. be very... Like, you know, but I don't know. I feel like, I feel like with, if you have six wishes with minor catches that you're going to have that situation where you wish for something and then the little minor catch just ruins it. Cause sometimes it's the little things yeah. that can that go wrong and you're like, ah, oh, it's ruined yeah. it, you know? No. So I like, three wishes, three perfect, no hassle wishes. Yeah. Easy. A lot of people agree. Would you rather lead a boring life from here on forward or reborn not be reborn just reborn with all your memories into a baby of the opposite sex ah oh, that how high were you when you created this question <laughs> i'm sorry but christ this is this is an awkward one be lead a boring life that's, it could that's it could lead alter- to the new like sub race though sub race of, of girls with guy memories yeah syndrome <laughs> Yeah. I feel like something could come of that. Maybe. I feel like something amazing could come from that. And science would just blow up because... What does it mean by boring life? Because I would imagine a lot of people describe, you know... A boring life home, is sitting home video playing, games. Would you rather yeah. with uh, your like, uncle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm having a good time, so... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'd make the new sub race. Yeah, I guess... If That's I, not boring. I, yeah, I, I'm guessing... That. That's weird though, if you have all your memories as a baby, you'd have an advantage over all the other babies, wouldn't you? <laughs> you'd be the smartest baby, yeah. Yeah, like you'd be. You'd know, because you'd know everything as you're growing up. Oh, you this is amazing! <laughs> think this about it. So the second better. you start speaking, you'd be like, man, man. Uh, Google Gaga, a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking Google it, mate. But you'd have all the knowledge. I mean, that wouldn't be much because I'm not that smart, but they'd have all the knowledge. <laughs> For a few years, I'd be smarter than everybody else. If you were to participate in the Olympics, would you rather be in the summer li- uh, Olympics I don't know. or be in the winter? Uh, <laughs> um, winter for me, easy. All I know is that there's a lot of thing, a lot of the Olympics, like a lot of the Summer Olympics. I'm not saying I'd be amazing at them, but I could do them. The running, jumping, hurdling, like I could give it a go, right? But all of the Winter Olympics, like going down that, like thing, whatever they call it. And the snowboarding and skiing. I just want to hear your description again. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I feel like the Winter Olympics would be a lot more dangerous. Yeah, that's why it's more fun. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd rather be in nuns. So I'm going to pick winter. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming from a mile off. Mm. Because that's the one that gets celebrated more. Fucking shit. Be the last human left on Earth or be dead. Wow. Well, this goes to our, this goes to our Halo conversation a few weeks ago, when it's like, <laughs> yeah, this will click soon, don't worry. Okay. Where the Halo Two servers were closed. Oh yeah. And people were stay keep in the middle, keeping their Xbox on, 
until they forcibly like it their xbox blew up or whatever mm. and they, it forcibly closed them off the game people were you know making the most of it i'd say be the last human left on earth now ignore him would you rather right now the insane came out with a great idea of halo 2 having a uh what was it a, a last man standing like a last server. man and yeah and so it's a set is essentially normal halo as you would mm. but um if you die you don't respawn you get kicked off the servers entirely and that's a good way to close off the server servers and the last one standing out of all the online servers gets recognized in some way cash prize maybe i don't know that's 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 the issue i have with this is that the great thing about that is that at the end of it you'd be recognized as being the last person who played halo 2 or whatever right here nobody's gonna be like congratulations you were the last human you'd be like you get to enjoy the last moments on earth though yeah you know like, i think i think you get a teabag anyone you didn't like i think i think to be honest i i wouldn't like to die like i've got quite a strong like i wouldn't like to die so i, like I die. probably i probably would i mean i guess it would be better to be the last human left on earth than be dead yeah, it's just um, it'd be a bit lonely, but you could literally do anything you wanted. Like, it's literally have the last enjoyment of your life or don't. <laughs> so yeah. I, for me, it's yeah. I it'd be sad because you know everyone you know would be dead and all that, but it's like, or you're dead, you know. Like, yeah. I don't know. Um, being able to open doors unassisted. Or be unable to climb stairs unassisted. Ooh. Let's think about this. Nine times out of ten, if you're using a door, there's people around. That's true. You could just pace your steps so you're always behind someone. They leave the door open and you yeah. slide on through. You know, it, it just occurred to me, like, having somebody assist you open a door, right? They just open the door, right? You yeah. just walk through how do they assist you climbing the stairs? <laughs> That's a good point. That they lift up your leg, place it back down, get the other leg. <laughs> like, if you said to somebody, please, could you open this door for me? Like, I'm not very strong. You'll probably find somebody who would do that. But if yeah. you said to somebody, please, can you carry me up this staircase? <laughs> Piss off, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah, going to no. say what about Go escalators, on. but it's too strong a point. It's got to be door. Really? Wow. You think somebody's going to carry upstairs? <laughs> <laughs> no, that one's dumb, dude. You you guys are thinking with your brain. Parts. I live in a bungalow. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever always dress like royalty or always dress like a pimp? Oh. oh, you'll get smashed up if you dress like a pimp, especially around Bristol. <laughs> I mean, I could dress up like royalty for a change, I suppose, <laughs> I've been always dressing like a pimp as I do. How how pimp are we going? Are we like stereotypical like hat with a feather in, cane suit, cane? Because like a total cause prick, basically. Royalty just wears like suits, right? The like it depends what kind of royalty you're talking about. Oh, uh, it could be all the like crown and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, it. I say royalty is a bit more. You don't know what you're getting, so I like the idea of it, That's literally, because they're both awful. Like, whatever you pick, you, you're going to have a bad time. I feel like... So, I feel like royalty would just be a bit more of a mystery. <laughs> I also feel like somebody will take issue with you dressing up like a pimp. Not somebody, a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with royalty. Uh, how much time we got? All right, yeah, we'll just do uh, one more question. One more question. Oh, I'll be good. Oh, we've done this. We, yeah. Next. Yeah, let's just get them. Oh. oh, oh. Okay. Um, oh. What does it mean by psychokinetic? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Psychokinesis is the ability to move, change objects and surroundings with your mind. Telepathy is the ability to read. Oh, of course. Right. So, yeah, because I was thinking telepathic. I was reading it as telekinesis, which would be moving objects. So basically. You have the you have force, pull, push, right? Or you can read people's minds. Psychokinetic for me. Yeah. I Easy. I 
think think about like you if there was a heavy thing to lift and you just go that, ah. and you know when you, you would have to have anyone assist you through doors. You could just go oh. <laughs> and you'd be able to do that. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And like you know, um, you could like you know have as, as things a... under your feet and then you could use it to fly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, you could essentially fly. Yeah. That would be cool. Yeah. You know, um, as a kid, you like do stupid things you go like like I've seen kids do it before when there's like a automatic door and they're like oh. yeah. you could troll people by pretending to do that and then actually do it and people are like oh, uh. yeah yeah no, this is so much more fun but telepathy is gonna have more because it's more of a popular thing maybe yeah he read it right <laughs> he read it right nah it's like a connect, dude all about it. Yeah, because, like, you know when you're straight... I, I need one more hand. I try, so I'm trying to carry so many things. I've got my phone here, I've got my wallet, and I need to pick up this thing. <laughs> That's a practical... You don't even need to use your hands. You just use it for the dramatic effect. You could literally just go... Yeah, I think... <laughs> you don't even need that. Just... <laughs> I feel like I would do the sound effects and the hand gestures, if possible, mm. just for dramatic I'll do it with my foot sometimes, just to be weird. You know? yeah, just... <laughs> oh, it only works with my feet. That's weird. <laughs> yes. There's Anyways. so many hilarious <laughs> ways of using this that it's just too, it's just too strong. It's just too strong. I, I, I like psychokinetic. Mm. Psychokineticist? Psychokineticist? Sure. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye there. Bye there. <laughs> <laughs>